Love Lies Beneath is about a woman who's had three pretty rotten marriages <laughs> and she finally finds the man of her dreams and life is going really, really well for her. Everything is like what she wants a relationship to be until his teenage son moves home and then things start to be not so wonderful <laughs> anymore. The idea to, to write about that kind of relationship uh, was inspired by my own husband and teenage son. I travel a lot and sometimes I'll get phone calls like I have one from my husband. He'll be going, you know what just happened? And then my son will call and goes, this is what really happened, mom. And I'll be like, I don't know, should I believe my husband? Should I believe my kid? So that kind of inspired this idea of what if you're getting two sides of the story from people and not knowing which one is telling the truth. Love Lies Beneath is different from my previous books in, in a couple of ways. One is uh, it's my first novel that I've written in prose. I chose to write in prose to kind of connect with people who might be intimidated by poetry, I guess, because it's a story that matters, so it's not format that matters. Tara's a really strong character. Her husbands were also strong men, and I think a lot of women struggle with that, especially with strong women who want, who want to be their own person, who want to have their own career paths, who want to have their own fortunes in a way, and she does. She built a fortune for herself. In some of my earlier books, I, I do write mental illness, but this gets into kind of the deeper psychological illnesses, sociopathy, um, borderline personality disorder, those kind of real brain chemistry focused um, mental illnesses that created some very interesting characters. But I do write a lot of teen fiction as well. When you write teen fiction, it's all about discovery. That's the big difference, I think, between writing for teens and adults. When you write adult fiction, it's about reflection. It's about what the past informs who you have become. My past has informed a lot of who I've become. And I think with Tara, she will never become the, the person I am, but getting into her head and seeing who she used to be and how every single stage of her life built the person that she's become. She's an interesting character because when the book opens, I don't think you necessarily like her a lot right away. Um, but you have to, through the, the storytelling, through the unfolding of the story, you come to understand why she has become who she is.